Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm really excited, because everybody, this is the part of the game where the case gets really interesting. So if you've been bored thus far, never fear, it's about to get a lot more exciting, I'll say. Cool. Anyhow. Because that last trial was something. Well, let's continue. February 23rd, 11.56am, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. How is that that whole trial period only lasted an hour, like two hours? I don't know. And the first trial of the entire series Okay, maybe the like first four. trial they cut out some stuff, and then this one they were like, we're going to make you sit for two hours. I don't know. It could, it could I feel be. like our actual recording time was actually close to two hours. That's yeah. ridiculous. Um, Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Are trials always like this with you? Like you're swimming up from the bottom of a lake, about to reach the surface. No matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there. Pretty much. Except today we're swimming in quicksand. So what happened to your sister, anyway? Apparently she got called off to the judge's chambers. Hmm. Probably something to do with that piece of cloth. So! This is where we turn this trial around, right? Our only weapon, a tiny, insignificant piece of cloth. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant, to tell the truth. Hola, partner! Oh, boy. <laughs> they say you show a red cloth to a bull, it'll fire up its temper. That's what they told me when I was a youngin, at least. Hey, Texas. <laughs> Officer Marshall! Thought I'd come to take a look-see at how the trial's going. Looks like I'm late. You have got the place locked down tighter than a fort in enemy territory. What is going on over there anyway? All the police I've seen these last two days have been really on edge. Don't you got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? You could be worrying about the chief prosecutor's taste in mufflers, for example. Um, Officer Marshall? The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with the scarves. She wasn't even wearing a scarf! You don't say. Now that doesn't just beat all. I've seen the red breeze blow at her slender neck many a time. I saw it that day, too. She was wearing a red muffler. What? At the award ceremony that afternoon. Edgeworth seen it too, I'd reckon. What does that mean? In the photograph taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. So... Miss Star wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time. Remember, partner, sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns. And sometimes you just gotta let that bull go where it will. Time will tell. Ugh, I have a bad feeling about this. So, what are we swimming in now, Mr. Wright? If it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine ribs. Ooh-wee! <laughs> I mean, I want some steak. I would love some steak. Not ribs, though. Ribs yeah, are not ribs very are good. Ribs are not my thing. I don't know. February 23rd, 1232 p.m., District Court, courtroom number nine. It's because... Number nine? There's nine different courtrooms? Yeah. I, we just mentioned this at the beginning. Okay, I knew there were like four, but not nine. There are at least nine. Okay. I'd like to resume? What's up? The judge keeps looking over at the prosecution. Uh-oh, they talked to him. Whoa. Edgeworth. Is something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Your face is blue, your lips are purple, you're sweating bullets. That furrowed brow, those grinding teeth, those watery eyes. What's more, your eyes are unfocused, you're doubled over, your back is bent. It can't be! This can't happen! I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth. I well then, too. I believe it is time we continued on with this trial. During our recess, I had requested that the prosecution conduct an investigation. Oh. Th this is unacceptable! Okay. Hmm. It seems our prosecutor is quite beside himself. Ah, uh, excuse me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ugh. What is the matter with that guy? What's with this guy? A strange stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. Well, I need to get a good look at this guy. What in the- Hey! The temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. 
Who on earth is okay, wait, he? Wait, I need to, I need to look at this guy. Those are not his cheeks. Those are his sunglasses. That's weird. Ah, oh, it's you. Can he talk? He's freaking me out. <laughs> Why won't he say anything? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, Uji. Uh, the roads were packed. It's just me. Long time no see, eh, Uji? How you been? Swim much these days? What? Ah, hello, hello. No, I've been so busy. Is this Edgeworth? <laughs> busy? Busy schmizzy, Uji, my boy. You have to make time to relax. Oh, he's talking to the judge, yes. not Edgeworth. Uh, yes, indeed. Uji? Seems to be his nickname for the judge? I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. Um, sorry, but who are you? Aha! So you're right, oh, the attorney. I've heard good things about you, son. Is he another judge? Uh, uh, thanks. I'm so sorry about our little worthy giving you all that trouble, eh? You know, we should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly! Little, little worthy? Mr. Wright! You don't know the district chief of police? Ch no. Chief of police? He's the top-ranking police officer in the entire district! I mean, we haven't seen him, so... Um... Name's Gant. Damon Gant. Pleased to meet you, everyone. Okay, that guy's freaking me out. <laughs> because of his long stares. He's just like, eh. But it's the way his eyes look, like when you're looking at him on your on the screen, it's just like... Come play <laughs> with me, and you're I'll like, ah! okay. that, Well, I mean, he's supposed to be intimidating, because, I mean, he's... The, the but big he's cheese. Not. Like, as soon as he starts speaking, he's just like, hi ho! I know, but Let's I... go swimming! It'll be fun! <laughs> so, uh, to what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? How is he still in his job? <laughs> well, it's worthy here. Look at the poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. Hey! Th that's. My sister's muffler! So, Miss Star wasn't just seeing things. When the crime occurred, Miss Sky really was wearing that muffler. But to think that it was stuffed into that exhaust pipe. On Little Worthy's car, no less. That's what I thought it would be. Uh... What? Oh. It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. W what's this? It's what you'd call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing, this. Oh, he stands very tall. Oh, yeah. Chief! What kind of outfit are you running? M Mr. Edgeworth, how could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? If your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? N now wait a minute, Worthy. I've no desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. Ugh. Or didn't you hear me? Have a look at this document, where it says, Person in Charge of Investigation. There's no mistaking that signature, Miles Edgeworth. Th that's no fair! The day of the crime, I, I had... Your head in the clouds because you got that award! I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I'll expect a written apology. What? Gosh. Are you serious? I hate this guy. Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. He's not- okay, he's not in charge of investigating. Edgeworth, he's a prosecutor. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. He is, is that his thing? In this series, anyways. Okay, number one, I don't think you should be allowed to be in charge of an investigation that's in your car with a murder that your car is involved in. I don't think you should be the leader for that. I think you could absolutely be in it. I just think someone else would have to lead it. Isn't normally Gumshoe, like, the leader for that sort of thing? Yeah, but the chief of police we heard earlier kicked him out of the investigation and put Officer Marshall in charge instead. Oh, he's just... he's just terrible, then. <laughs> okay. I, I already hate this guy. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss for words. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. Gah! The court accepts this new evidence. But I'd like to ask the defense a favor first. Uh? Y yes? What do we need to do? Just to be sure, I'd like you to take a look at the blade of this knife. The b blade, your honor? Well, I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? It just... Yes. Well, I think all you have to do is push that switch and... If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. 
Yeah, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point it at people anymore. <laughs> Come on, just hurry up and open it. Oh, this boy. could end really badly. <laughs> just saying. As long as he's not an idiot. There's a small tag on this knife. It seems to say SL92. <gasps> oh, what does that mean? Well, I've heard something similar. Yeah. DL6, or of DL6 incident in fame. But it's strange. Huh? What is? I'm not certain, but I get the feeling I've seen this somewhere before. Me too. Letters like this, or letters that look a lot like this somehow. Well, I mean, her sister was an investigator. No, was but it, it was just that police note. codes. Ah! Don't scare me like that! I'm the one who's scared! Look at this knife blade! The tip is broken off! And this dark red stain? Blood? Switchblade knife added to the court record. What, was she just like, two knives like, yeah, da, 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 da. Uh, I, I guess know. we'll find out. This does not excuse the actions of the police department. I would like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. I'm terribly sorry, but could I ask you to testify for us? About the split between the prosecutors and the police, and this knife? Sure, sure fee, not a problem, not even a little one, really. Uh. <laughs> this guy's weird. Witness yeah. testimony, department in disorder. What is up with his hair, too? I think he just woke up and he was like, Yup, I'm good, and <laughs> like, didn't do anything. <laughs> this knife is special, but I can't say how, here. What? Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. Yeah. A detective was killed at the police department, see? What a mess! Why are you smiling? The time of the crime? 5.15. Scary coincidence, eh? It's not officially linked to this here case, so I can't talk much about it. Um, I'm pretty sure. The, there, there was a murder at the police department? A detective? That's hush-hush information, Uji. We haven't exactly announced it yet. Wait. What? Double murder? Yep. What if they were siblings? That'd be Ooh, weird. Interesting. Well, wait a sec. You said 515? That's the exact time that Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Oh, maybe that's why the dude was like, <laughs> let's get all of our investigators out of here. That might explain why. Order, that. order, order. Anyway, we at the department were all flustered, as you might well assume. We're in the middle of a top seek top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, okay? Then why did you tell us? Because <laughs> the judge asked him to, oh. basically. I think we understand the police department situation. Well, Mr. Wright, two detectives killed at the same time in two different places? The chances of that are really slim. Scientifically speaking, of course. I'd like to exercise my right to cross-examine the witness. Very well. However, keep your questions focused on the case at hand. Oh, is this one where, like, if we press everything, we might get penalized? Uh, no. That doesn't happen until the second game. Alright, so the knife is special. Excuse me, special? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hard to come by this particular knife anywhere else. Maybe it's handmade. Um, might that special fiend be this little tag? Oh, sorry, Righto, but I can't say that now. Not that. We've established that the knife in Goodman's chest was this knife. Now, why was there another knife at the scene of the crime? That's quite a mystery. And like a mystery, it's wrapped in something. A muffler. Unless there is evidence to prove a connection between the knife and Goodman. This knife was found on the scene of our crime. I think that makes it connected to the case, don't you? See, there's a lot of things that go on at the department I can't explain. It's delicate, okay? Sorry, Rido. Maybe there's something about the knife that will give us a clue. Let's examine that knife while we can, Rido. Hmm, evidence that links this knife to Detective Goodman. I think perhaps the pieces are falling into place. I should try presenting that piece of evidence that's had me stumped all this time. So how are things down at the department? That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in a hold it! <laughs> Something didn't happen at the police department too, did it? You got a good look in your eyes there, right ho my boy. Sharp. Hungry. Chief, did something happen? And why haven't I heard? Why haven't you heard? Or why didn't you ask? No matter, I understand. You were busy, what with Lana's case and all. 
Well, what happened? What happened at the police department that day? Do Detective was killed at the police department. See, what a mess. On the same day that a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? That's a fact. Surprising, isn't it, Aji? I'm at a loss for words. And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. Well, must be a Just thing. arrested? That was quick. But there's still a lot of unanswered questions. <laughs> Maybe you could help, right? I suppose I could help, if you help me by giving me data on your case. Ooh, good one! This kid's sharp! Okay, here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing and one thing only. Where the victim was found, how the victim was killed, or when the victim died. Well, you already know when the victim died, so yep. that's easy. Um, we already know where he's found as well. So how was he killed? How was he killed? Well, how was the detective killed? How was he killed? Now that's the interesting part. It was what we in the force call a stabbing with a knife. Oh well, yeah, a but... A knife? That's exactly the same as Detective Goodman. That's the spirit we're cooking now. But you know, that's not the only thing that was exactly the same. Same person? Well, that, that what do you think? mean? There were more similarities between the two cases than the cause of death. It seems like I'm going to have to press this a bit harder. Well, we can come back to that one. Time of death, 515, scary coincidence. Five? 515? But, but that's... That's when Detective Goodman was killed in the prosecutor's office! What? Funny, isn't it? A murder at the prosecutor's place okay. and a murder at our place at the very same time. Yeah. I'm trying to think of who this guy reminds me of. Gant? It's, it's the eyes. No, it... Uh... <laughs> it's making me think of Mr. Nazar from Veggie Tales, like the way he's looking, like that. I don't know All why. Right. I, I guess I could kind of see I don't, that. It's it's just it's the. It's he's the also face. got the beard. Yeah, it's the face and beard. I think, and the and the. I know, I know what you he, mean. He has no pupils. His eyes are just green. There's no black. Okay, the green are his irises, and he's. Actually, I guess that's true. It's it's stylized, you know? Mm -hmm. What are the chances? Coincidence? Yeah, you could say, like, Phoenix Wright only has black. He doesn't have, like, anything besides that. But that makes a little more sense, because it's, like, an anime. This is just my gut feeling. But I'd say there's a 0.001% chance of that happening. Chief Gant, please tell us more about the incident. Sure. It's not officially linked to this here case, so I can't talk much about it. Yes, it is. How can you say there's no connection? How? Because I'm the chief of police. I can't just say anything I please, Rhino. You understand. Ha uh ha -huh, ha. Uh -huh. Try to understand, Rhino. Oh. Well, if you... Can we look in the court record to see how old this dude is? Whoa. He's 65. Still a chief? I mean, you have you have to have a lot of experience to become the chief. Okay. So, Still, yeah, I guess I that, can't I really see anybody sense. younger than forty ever becoming police. Chief. Well, yeah, but uh, usually most people are like sixty-five. I'm retired, so. Oh uh, well, maybe he's driven like that. Well, if you can prove there's a connection, more power to you. Maybe there is something that ties the two murders together. Whatever it is, I'd better find it and get to the bottom of this. Two detectives were killed at 515, one at the prosecutor's office, and one at the police department. That can't be a coincidence. And that knife. What was it doing there? I'd better check this knife out. I mean, we already have. Alright, so you were saying that the numbers on the knife and the numbers on the note were I similar? I think so. Do you, so do you want to try that? I don't know. Because, like, Phoenix was like, I better present the piece of evidence that, that stumped then me. Stumped me, me, sure. Yay! Wait a second! Ah! Oh, at last, an honest to goodness objection! This knife. This has to have something to do with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? Aha! An honest to goodness what do you mean from the judge? This is great! You apparently never go to court. <laughs> Look at the tag on this knife. It reads SL92. And this is important. Why? Over here, we also have a memo that was on the body of the victim. Hmm? What's this? 6 minus 7s, 12 divided by 2? 
Your Honor, it's upside down. Upside... The printed name on the memo makes it look like it's right side up, but turn it around and what do you get? Yeah, that uh, makes sense. Aha! When he wrote this note, he was holding this paper upside down. I also made that connection because originally we were like, I think that's an L, and I'm like, that's a 7. You're an idiot. And I was like, oh, maybe he's reading it upside down. Right. SL9? That's the same name that was written on the knife's tag. Order! Order! Well, Chief? Ah, oh, well. I guess the cat's out of the bag. You win, Rido. Uh, cool. I... Win? Ah! What game is this guy playing? This knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. So this knife was stolen? Yes, but on the day of the murder. It was evidence, you say? Was it in fact a murder weapon? Nice, nice, nice! Good show, little worthy. It was a murder weapon, as it happens. It was evidence from a case long since solved. So this knife was stolen on the day of the murder. How do you steal a knife? And it was found in the exhaust pipe of Edgeworth's car? Hard to think there isn't a connection there. Indeed. Uh... Alright, so we can ask more things here, I believe. Or he's like, oh, I'll only let you ask me one thing, but we can go back. <laughs> Alright, so we did how was the victim killed? We can do where he was found or when he died. We already know when he died, so let's, let's... do where. So tell me, where was the victim found? Well, I can't speak on where the corpse was really? found. Really? He's gonna be like, there were two bodies in the trunk. But I can say the crime took place in the evidence room at the police department. The evidence room? Wait a second. I've heard of that. The evidence room? Didn't he mention that in his in his testimony just now? This knife was the evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. So, like, yeah, okay. There's the connection between the two cases. Was the evidence room where we got electrocuted? No, that was the records room. That was room. the records room? Okay. Yep. You seem happy, Mr. Wright. Happy? We just got handed our ticket to go to town on this case. With the link between the two cases established, we can finally have some leverage. Now we can get Gant to testify about the details. Alright. Chief, the defense's position is simply this. The connection between these two cases has already been proven. Heh, <laughs> you don't say. Well, out with it, Rhino. What's your connection? Yes, out with it, Mr. Wright. The connection is a place, mentioned in the testimony we just heard. The knife found in the lot was stolen, from the police department's evidence room. Not to mention the victim had written down the numbers on the knife's evidence tag. And we also know that the detective murdered at the police department was killed in that very same evidence room. Indeed. There do seem to be too many connections for it to be a coincidence. Aww. You two make a good pair. It took my men two days to find out what you deduced right there. I guess that's cool. But... Chief, I request that you release your information on the victim at the police department. See, that's the tricky part. It hasn't been announced yet and all. Can we get the information unofficially? Hmm. Sure, why not? It's unofficial after all. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> Who would have guessed? I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal the name of the victim at the department, okay? What? Really? That's dumb. We need to know who's <laughs> If there. you're going to tell us a little, why not tell us everything? Oh, well, case information is sticky stuff. You have to do everything properly. You're already not doing it properly! <laughs> oh, well, I guess I might as well try to get out of him what I can. The victim's division, the victim's gender, or the victim's ID number. Okay, I feel like any of these would work well, because how many females do you think really work there? Uh, Not that many. Do you want to try that, then? Not that many. The ID number would instantly be able to tell us. Only if we happen to know the guy's ID, which is incredibly unlikely. Okay, and then the division, it's like, well, 
I guess Ed hasn't shown up for the past three days, so it might be there. Uh, Alright, so I guess we'll do division then. Okay, well, what division was the victim stationed in? Oh, you want to know that, do you? Do you? Uh -huh. Criminal Affairs, Division 1. The detectives responsible for homicide cases. Homicide? That would be the same division as Detective Gumshoe. Oh, that's probably why they're like everybody out. Detective Goodman, who was killed in the underground parking lot, was homicide too. It's almost like a serial killer was after homicide detectives. Except this serial killer killing... This serial killing happened simultaneously, scientifically speaking. So then two people must well, be at the same time. Well, I sure hope Detective Gumshoe isn't next on his list. Unless if Bambina has a twin. <laughs> Bambina. Is that just her name now? No, that's his name. I just call him Bambina. Because that's what he always says. Well, yeah. Texan Bambina. <laughs> Mr. Texas. Alright, so, victim's gender. Okay, how about the gender of the victim? You want to know that? Um, hmm. Okay, a hint. Let's see. First hint, the gender that's not female. Aha! He was a guy! What did I tell you? The boy is sharp. <laughs> Stop goofing around, Mr. Wright. This is serious business. Okay, so two males. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor. Hey, tell that to the chief of police! <laughs> yeah. The chief is kind of a goofball. <laughs> and apparently he loves to go swimming. So, hey, good for him to have a hobby outside work. I guess that's good, yeah. Alright. I mean, he probably has enough money to get a boat. Okay, how about you tell me the victim's ID number? Hmm? Sure, why not? It's not like you'll be able to tell who it is from that. Of course not. You won't tell me their name, after all. We keep a tight lid on the ID numbers, so don't go getting your hopes up. The number is... And he'll just sit there for five minutes. Five eight four two one eight nine. Well, that's quite long. Oh, what's that spell? And we have to remember these. It drives me nuts. Eight two. I can't do it. You didn't even get the first number right. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mister Wright, does this tell you anything? The ID you number of the victim. victim at the police department. Okay, five hold on. eight four two one eight nine. Hold on. We need to. We need to do this according to. <laughs> pull up the other dude. This guy? Yeah. That's exactly the same. Yep. That tells me everything. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like, oh, <laughs> this tells me nothing! <laughs> Absolutely nothing, Your Honor. Ah, uh, well, yes. First of all, it was too long! I forgot <laughs> it already! S sorry! I mean, why are you getting mad at me? I didn't come up with those numbers. Hmm. Five eight four two one eight nine. Two detectives were killed. Oh, nah, boy. Nah. This tells, <laughs> tells me, me something. something. Actually, it does, Your Honor. It does. I think. The Meaning. It has to be what I think it is. But what does this mean? He has an identity. Well, let's hear what the defense has to say. You say the ID number of the detective who was murdered at the police department tells you something? What does it tell you? Show the, the thing, right? <laughs> it's the same ID as on my attorney's badge! The ID number tells me this. My dear boy, you shouldn't believe everything ID numbers tell you. Well, maybe I misheard, you know? Mr. Wright, the court respectfully requests that you clean out your ears and pay attention. And I'd like to request some straightforward information for once. Mr. Wright, don't listen to them. Look at the court record. Scientifically. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Witness? What is it, Mr. Wright? You're grinning like a schoolgirl on prom night! Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, I- it's just- I got confused. And this is news? Wow. Huh? Just come out with both guns blazing, like you always do. The police department. The prosecutor's office. Two places, two detectives murdered at one time. But it's the same detective. Actually, I happen to have a police ID number here. Oh ho! Is it yours? No, Th no Your Honor, <laughs> I'm a defense attorney, remember? This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. 
Shame on you, Righto! Personal IDs are top secret! Detective Goodman's ID number is 5842189. He stares at us for five minutes. And this means what exactly? Huh? Wait, that ID number we heard from the chief earlier. That started with 82. Hmm, I've forgotten. You even got the first number wrong! <laughs> the number the, uh, the chief of police gave us was 5842189. What? Wait a second, right? What does this mean? That's what I want to know. The two ID numbers are identical. In other words, the detective killed in the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman. What does our witness think about that? I have an idea. What? Of what it could be. This this is ridiculous, though. Killed in the evidence room, and then whoever killed it was like, Oh my gosh, I gotta get this body out of here. Throws it in Edgeworth's car after he parks, and then... Edgeworth just drives back. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> He, he gets out of the car, leaves the car, and then they're like, ugh, like it's a red sports car, it'll hide the blood. And then Chief Prosecutor's like, I'm going to, oh my gosh, and opens the trunk, and then they take it down. Interesting theory, alright. Perhaps. Oh, ho, 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 sharp as attack, Rhino, sharp as attack. Unlike some people. B but wait, Detective Bruce Goodman is our victim. He was killed at 515 in the underground parking lot. Yeah. Yet, a Detective Bruce Goodman was also killed at the police department. In the evidence room at the exact same time. Th that's impossible! So what we're saying is, the same person was killed at the same time, and in a completely different location. They're far away from each other, too. Yeah, half hour by that's car. That's the thing that I'm like, Edgeworth, how order, are you Order, order, order. Chief, what does this mean? Ooh. No. What I want to know is, why didn't I hear about this? Yes, it's top secret, fine, but I'm the prosecutor in charge of the case! Now, just wait a second, Worthy, no need to get all flustered. No, I'm flustered. Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. Wait, I said wait. Or didn't you hear me? Okay, this guy is like death-threatening Edgeworth. The oversight, the grave error, Mr. Edgeworth. They're yours. No, they're not! What? How? How dare? Okay, this guy's controlling every department. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm calling this now. He, All right. <laughs> like, there's the chief prosecutor position, but he's char in charge of everyone. Well, let's see what he has to say, first of all. I think. We informed saying. you yesterday. I believe it was our Officer Meekins who brought you the news. Oh. O Officer Meekins? Mr. Wright! Where have we heard that name before? Oh, jeez, it was the dude who was- Wait! Aha! Uh -huh. Er... S excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir! At the request of the chief, sir! I've got your report, sir! Okay, that was Edgeworth's mistake. But you still- You don't mean him? According to Meekins, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. B but your officer, he told me, he said that report had nothing to do with the Lana Sky incident. Thank you. Detective Bruce Goodman, murdered in the police department evidence room. Mr. Edgeworth, the victim's name is written right on top of the report. GAH! With the wrong right. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Well, why didn't your officer tell me? Honestly, I'm not sure if that officer was capable of making the connection. He did seem challenged. In any case, this is a serious error, a gross negligence of duty on your part, Worthy. But, but sir, you could have submitted that report this morning to the court as evidence. Then I. Someone needs to make like a looped video of him, just like staring. I'm sure they have. <laughs> uh, um, I'm... no such luck this time, Worthy. Or should I say, unworthy? I'm waiting for him to break what? down, and he'll be the most terrifying one. Who, Edgeworth or Gant? <laughs> well, both, but Gant. Now, what was the second rule of evidence law, hmm? Well, Mr. Wright? Huh? Oh, well, it's, uh... Wright's terrible. Rule two, new evidence may only be submitted if it concerns the case on trial. And how is this relevant? Normally, you submit a list of evidence to be used in court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. So, what does this mean? I couldn't submit this evidence until a connection was proven in court. Okay. 
The connection was just proven by Raido over there. Good job, Raido, my boy! Huh? Uh, I... I was just doing my job. This guy scares no. me. No! No! Okay, this guy scares me because for whatever reason he likes right and does not like Mr. Edgeworth, which normally yeah. it's the other way around. <laughs> so you think that's unnatural? I think that's really unnatural. <laughs> it seems we have, for this game. we have come to the end of this trial. Okay, I'll just say you are far from the only person to be creeped out by his stare. <sighs> I, d I don't get creeped out by it personally, but I can see why you would. You're becoming a fort in my side, Worthy. There have been rumors. After all, you were in the defendant's chair just last year. Whatever. Don't bring that up. I apologize for this terrible lack of due diligence on my part. M Mr. Edgeworth. Please, just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened. If it's the last thing I do. You'd better get results this time. Really. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I don't think there's ever been an error this serious in the history of this court. I don't know. We will grant one further day as the prosecution has requested. Will this be sufficient, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Whatever your punishment for this is, for your sake, I hope it's not decisive. Very well. Court is adjourned. Maybe. To be continued. Oh, wow. That was way shorter than I remember it. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see now, the, the trial is really getting interesting now, isn't it? With like one guy killed in two different places. Yeah, that is really weird. It's a cool premise, though. It is a cool premise. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We're going to be investigating again tomorrow, and that's... Investigating. I think... I want to say that's one of the longest investigation periods. Like, it's Okay, it's it was huge. really long. And then we had a trial with a girl bribing the judge's <laughs> lunch. <laughs> yeah. And then a guy who just stares into your soul. Damon Gant, yeah. Uh... Anyhow, hope to see you next time. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.